So Arboto, can you talk to us about what this Red Bull solo queue event is happening that you're involved with? What is this event all about? So this event is all about 1v1s. It's been happening for a few years already. And the point of it is to put the best 1v1 players against each other and see who is better. I think that this is a, a thing that is dear to me because I remember in pretty much any game I used to play, you always get frustrated at some outside factor influencing your lane, your fight, whatever it is that you're doing. And you're thinking, I know I'm better than you. Let's 1v1 one, one one me after this game. And so that's kind of the trash talk that it started in League of Legends for me. And it always devolved into, well, devolved. I think it was fun. You'd go into a custom, you'd add the person, invite them to a custom, you'd play the same matchup again, and then you'd beat him and say, ha, see, without your jungler, I'm better than you, that kind of thing. And so I think that this turned that energy into an entire tournament that just highlights how well people can play in a 1v1. And it's not a skill that is not related to the game of 5v5 because a lot of the game is played in that 1v1 environment and it tests your mechanics, it tests your understanding of matchups really well, it tests your understanding of runes. So there is a lot of complexity and small little nuances in these 1v1 matchups to really see who has a better grasp of the laning phase and just being a better mechanically talented player. So. I think it's a really fun tournament and it's all about inviting people from across the globe to participate in these tournaments and they'll have their regional championships where they end up rising to the top, bam, you win there and then you compete internationally, global, like a, a global amalgamation with everybody that's won to see who the best one is. I believe I cast the 2019 right before the whole lockdown started in Brazil. And then you got to see players from around the world discussing strategies and all these little metas that developed from everywhere else. And nobody had a firm grasp of what was strongest. And so that was really cool to see. So I think it's a, a really fun tournament that highlights an aspect of the game that we all think about, but it often has a hard time finding its payoff. So this, this solo queue event, how is it in conjunction with Red Bull? They're the sponsor of the event. They're the ones putting up uh, the prize money. How is that working? Yeah, Red Bull is the sponsor for it. They've been hosting it for a while. They run the online qualifiers. I mean, they're a really strong media company that has a lot of online tools to allow players to compete and run a smooth organization this way, which I think is actually the hardest thing about this is how do you motivate people to do this? How do you incentivize prizes? And how do you make sure that people actually get to sign up and go through a process that feels fair, that feels smooth, that runs like a normal tournament should. And I think that's a really good thing that Red Bull is doing here. I believe the last few years, the tournament winnings were computers going to all stars. I'm not sure what the price pool is here, but it's gonna be something as significant as that before. And so I think that they end up being a really strong sponsor in this. And I like that the Red Bull idea of kind of extreme sports and being really really talented at your craft gets highlighted in a 1v1 because i think it has more crossover with a lot of activations that they do which feature individuals doing something that nobody else could do and so it feels like in a 1v1 that is more of the sense that and the spirit that red bull does normally put inside a game yeah, I mean, because Red Bull War Summer were one of the really early adopters in esports. I remember because I've been doing this for 11 yeah. years. I'm going to one of their first Red Bull Battlegrounds events that they ever had, and their uh, their training camps. And they originally had them. Uh, it was really really cool to see that uh, before you know it skyrocketed. You know, if you have that hi hindsight, right? If you have that hindsight to be like this could be really big, and you're an early adopter, you can you can make it big. So it's glad that I'm glad that they're still yeah. rolling out the uh, esports events and the sponsorships and all that stuff because it really is important. They're really you really do need that in order for there to be a Democrat. Like, look at Nintendo. They don't support Smash at all. You know, and that's, that's devastating to the fighting yeah. game community. I think that that's another good point about Red Bull, that they've been there from the start, right? I, I mean, even at work at the LCS, there's still, there's the Red Bull Bear and Power Play. So they've been there for a, a very long time. And I think that resonates with the fans, that it's not just a, a random sponsor picking up something that they think is cool. It's one of the longest standing sponsors that we've had continuing their their development of the scene. So and this this solo queue is is it because I mean I played I mean I played a little bit of League I dabbled in Han I play a lot of Heroes of the Storm so I'm familiar with how MOBAs are played, 
but it's been a while. How does it, how does the solo queue deal with like builds? Obviously you're the same level and the items, you have to like a standard loadout. Do you get to pick items at the beginning of the queue before you battle? Like how does that work? Cause in a game where it's, it's a team game, it's meant to be a team game at its core, 5v5, right? So when you put a 1v1 in there, it kind of messes the dynamic with, with combos and synergies and that kind of stuff. That's what I was saying when it comes to this 1v1, understanding the runes and the setup and how the game has shifted from a 5v5 into a 1v1 influences your build. There's a lot of runes, there's a lot of itemizations that only make sense when you have a team environment to play in. But when you have a 1v1, you have to think about the game entirely different. And there's not a really good place for you to practice except going into customs and finding a community that you can hoist these practices and continue to test things out in this way. So I think a prime example is that a lot of sustain is inside the game. So life steals, spell them, things that keep you alive through a team fight. But a lot of these are actually only available to you by killing the opponents multiple times and they stack per kill and so you get stronger the more you find these opportunities to kill but in a 1v1 you can't count on getting a kill to become stronger and so you have to scrap that strategy and go with another form of sustain whether it's the runes that increase your the duration of your potions that increase to give you little extra sustain through attacking like fleet footworks and these kinds of things and so that's where these small little advantages that you may know from 1v1s and not in 5v5s can add up and make the best players really shine do you want to see solo kill become, I guess, more mainstream would be the word? I think it's been tried a lot of times and in the past it was in the mid lane and so it didn't have that strong feel of a 1v1 since a lot of team, a lot of players just developed a strategy where you just survive and farm better and now Red Bull has changed it to going into the top lane for two years now. And that has really changed the dynamic of it from being a farm fest into almost always going for kills, which is a really exciting aspect. So I think that if this continues going the way it's been in the last year, this one as well, where it's really exciting, it's not about 100 CS or turrets, it's just about kills and mechanics, then maybe Riot can implement a map that reflects more of the top lane scenario as opposed to the mid lane. And then that could really encourage 1v1s. Like you could just go into 1v1 queues inside the game. And I think that'd be really exciting at that point. If League of Legends is supporting this as well in with a map, that would be the ultimate. It's kind of interesting because, you know, you know, League of Legends was kind of changed and modded after uh, Defense of the Ancients, which was originally Warcraft 3 mod, and now they're making their own mod within their game mode, which would be even kind of cool. Just continue the tradition of keeping changing the game, of evolving it and tweaking it ever so slightly to keep fans interested or get new players into it. People love their mods. <laughs> they really do. So how do people qualify for this solo queue event? I, I mean, are the qualifiers still running? Are they closed? Where can people go to find more information about it? You just sign up in the Red Bull website. You press the solo queue link, you sign up, and then you play in the date that it gives you to actually start playing your matches. And the more you win, the more you advance, you play the US finals. And if you go and win the US finals, then you're competing against the people that have won the finals in other regions around the world. And that is where you're really gonna test your medal. Cause maybe you got lucky with people in the States, but then there's some people that have completely different metas around the world. And maybe you're not prepared for that. So. You got to start by winning local and then you can go international. Awesome. And then where can they go to find out more about the solo queue event website, Red Bull? You just go redbull.com slash play solo queue, play with a dash solo queue. And that's it. That's where you sign up. Awesome.